afternoon, everyone. We want to thank you for joining us today for this training around the YMCA's National Diabetes Prevention Program. I'm Danielle Nugent, a Practice Transformation Specialist here at Quality Insights. And today I have with me Kat Lubke, who is the Community Health Integration Program Director at the Delaware YMCA. And today she is going to be talking to you about the Diabetes Prevention Program and how you can be referring your patients to this program. It will be a broad overview of the program, uh, of the qualifications, and giving you more information. So we hope that you will join us today by learning more. Thanks so much, Kat. Go ahead. Thank you for that introduction, Danielle. Um, so as, as Danielle mentioned, one of my primary uh, functions as the Community Health Integration Program Director is directly overseeing the YMCA's Diabetes Prevention Program. So I'm gonna share with you some details uh, about the program, participant qualifications, how to refer so your patients can enroll, and any follow-up processes that we may need between the YMCA of Delaware and your practice. So first and foremost, the Diabetes Prevention Program is really a lifestyle change program with a focus on helping your patients eat healthier, increase their physical activity, lose weight, overcome stress, boost energy, and really reduce their risk for chronic conditions, including uh, prediabetes and type two diabetes. So when we're thinking of diabetes prevention, we really wanna hone in on those individuals that are at high risk for developing type two diabetes, or maybe even already have prediabetes. So a large portion of the US adult population actually has prediabetes. So it's about a third of the population. Um, so for prediabetes, we're simply looking at that elevated blood glucose levels um, where it's higher than normal, but not high enough where you're gonna diagnose the patient with having type two diabetes. And then obviously people with prediabetes are at high risk for not only developing type two diabetes, but also for heart disease and stroke. So the Diabetes Prevention Program, it is an evidence-based program. And at the YMCA of Delaware, we have full recognition from the CDC which means we continually hit or exceed the program standards. Um, so these two statistics are based on a independent research study done on the diabetes prevention program, where they looked at participants two years after they completed the diabetes prevention program, and they found that 58% of the people under the age of 60 did not develop type two diabetes. Uh, where the population over 60 did even better, 70% of those individuals did not develop type 2 diabetes. During the same research study, they did put um, a portion of the participants on metformin as a preventative, and only 38% of those people did not develop type 2 diabetes. So in the grand scheme of things, having a patient go through the diabetes prevention program is going to be have more of an impact on preventing or delaying their onset of type 2 diabetes than medication. The program itself really focuses on two things. The first goal is a modest amount of weight loss. So it's a 5 to 7% weight loss goal. And then the second goal is increasing their physical activity to 150 minutes per week. So we're trying to get them to do 30 minutes of physical activity at least five days a week. So qualifications, in order for your patient to qualify, we're gonna need a couple of things. So they need to be an adult, they need to be at least 18. They cannot be pregnant, One of, again, since one of the program goals is that five to 7% weight loss. Um, it'd be a great program for somebody to start after they have had the baby. Uh, they do have to be overweight, so we're looking for BMIs of 25 or higher, or for our aging population, 23 or higher. And they cannot already have a diagnosis of type 1 or type 2 diabetes or end-stage renal disease. So every once in a while, we come across those great patients that have diabetes, but that's very well managed. 
So even if they already had diabetes, but their blood glucose values have come within range of prediabetes, they still would not qualify. So we really want people um, who are in that prediabetes range before they have that diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. So if you can check off those four boxes for your patient, the next thing we're going to do is assess their risk for type 2 diabetes or for prediabetes. And we're going to use either the blood glucose values or we can use the CDC prediabetes risk assessment. So really quick, going to go over the pre-diabetes blood glucose values that would qualify an overweight patient for the program. So an A1C of 5.7 to 6.4, a fasting glucose of 100 to 125, a two-hour plasma glucose of 140 to 199, or females that have a history of gestational diabetes. Uh, that would also qualify um, for the diabetes prevention program. The first three values, we would need that uh, to be within the past 12 months. So if they have an old A1C from a year ago, um, we would want an updated value in order to qualify them for the program. For individuals that don't have a blood sugar value, uh, we're gonna use the CDC prediabetes risk assessment. So if your patient can check off some of these and has a point value that is nine or higher, that would qualify them for the diabetes prevention program. So if you note that a 65 year old individual, that is automatically nine points. So any individual age 65 or older who is overweight would can be considered at risk for prediabetes and qualify for the program. The other risk factors we'll go through very quickly. So a woman having a baby weighing more than nine pounds, so a family history, so a parent with diabetes or a brother or sister, being overweight, um, getting little to no physical activity in a typical day for those under the age of 65, and then age is the final risk factor, so between the ages of 45 and 64, and then over the age of 65. So to give you an idea of what the diabetes program excuse me, the diabetes prevention program structure is like. It is essentially a group support system. So they meet in a classroom setting. Um, we do provide distance learning during the public health emergency. It is lane, led by a trained lifestyle coach who's there to guide them through the program. It is a one year program and it's designed to help them establish new behaviors one at a time through setting small goals. So that 12 month program breaks down into 25 sessions. So at first they are starting weekly. So they attend weekly meetings for the first 16 weeks. Then it tapers off a little bit where they're attending every other week. So three bi-weekly sessions. And then finally for the second half of the program, they're going once a month. So the idea is that the patient is getting a lot of support and accountability in the first half of the program, and then they're working more independently in the second half of the program, but maintaining all of the goals and the changes that they have made in the first half of the program. So really quickly, here are a few testimonials from some of our past participants. Um, so you can see that people have reduced their A1C, they, blood pressure has gone down, and obviously weight loss, uh, so you can highlight this one on the bottom, her weight went from 247 to 204. Um, so participants obviously not only are seeing that weight loss, but they're seeing the other health outcomes as well as just feeling better, chronic pain going away, feeling like they have more energy. And our goal is really to help them make changes that they can sustain for the rest of their life. So to quickly review who can participate, we do need adults, so individuals age 18 or older who are not pregnant, uh, that are overweight, so that BMI of 25 or higher or 23 or higher for Asian individuals, um, and they do not already have a diagnosis of diabetes, either type 1 or type 2 diabetes, and then they're going to qualify either their blood glucose values or with that CDC prediabetes risk assessment. Um, since we are the YMCA of Delaware, they do not need to be a member. 
Uh, this is open to any member of the public who qualifies for the program. Going over the cost of the program, so the out-of-pocket self-pay fee for the program is $429. Currently, we have a very heavy insurance coverage here in the state of Delaware. So all of our state of Delaware group health plan members, so our state of Delaware employees and participating groups, um, it is covered for them. It's also covered under commercial Highmark of Delaware. Uh, Medicaid, so both Highmark Health Options and AmeriHealth Caritas cover the cost of the program in Delaware, and then Medicare as well. Uh, the one little note here is that for our Medicare beneficiaries, they are required to have a blood glucose value in order to participate in the program. They cannot enroll based on risk factors. They need to have that blood glucose value. One of the great added benefits to our participants in the program is that we give them a free Y membership. So when they sign up and when they start their program, the very same day they start the program, the YMCA of Delaware gifts them a four month family membership to the YMCA of Delaware. After this four, first, first four months, as long as they're still actively participating in the program, they can continue as a YMCA of Delaware member for an additional eight months at 50% off. Um, I do want to highlight that this is not covered by their insurance. The YMCA membership is gifted from our scholarship fund here at the YMCA of Delaware. So referrals, I love referrals. So how are you going to get your patients connected to the diabetes prevention program? Um, if you're participating through qual with Quality Insights with a retrospective letter project, that is great. Um, we could also have our online portal where you would simply, um, or one of the staff go through, hit our provider referral form and fill out the patient information and send it to us. That provider referral also has a field for you to request more information for, from the YMCA of Delaware even if it's just marketing material or follow-up training or lunch and learn, um, anything like that can be requested via the provider referral form that is on our YMCA of Delaware website. Uh, we can also accept electronic paper referrals via our HIPAA Secure eFax. Um, so we do have those available to you as well in order to refer your patients. So a little bit of the breakdown of responsibilities. So from the healthcare provider and the practice team, um, it's your job to screen the patients for prediabetes or those that are at high risk of developing type 2 diabetes, educate them on the risks of type 2 diabetes and their ability to prevent the onset of diabetes. Uh, inform them and counsel them about the options available to them and then refer them to a lifestyle behavior change program um, such as the YMCA's diabetes prevention program. On our end at the YMCA of Delaware and the Healthy Living Department, we will receive those referrals. Um, the form stack, the online form, the eFacts are all HIPAA secure portals that we use. Uh, we will then contact the patient. We will do a readiness to change assessment with them. We'll provide them uh, program information and details, answer any questions they might have, as well as collect insurance and handle all the claims for that. And of course, enroll them into a class that's convenient for them. Um, and then per your request as a healthcare provider in the practice, we can actually provide you feedback on the patients. Um, this can be anything from how many was referred to how many enrolled uh, to specific patient information as far as outcomes um, and successes in the program. So I'm going to end here. Uh, I did provide our web address, my email address. So if you have any questions about the diabetes prevention program, the best thing to do is to reach out to me via email. Um, and you can actually go directly to our website and find all of the information about program eligibility, uh, qualifications, as well as that provider referral form.
Perfect. Thank you so much for going over that with us today. Uh, as Kat mentioned, you can reach out to her at her email that's posted here on the slide. Um, or you can always reach out to your practice transformation specialist who can connect you with the YMCA. Uh, thank you again for participating today.